What's up, bros? Big Flick here from Bean Power, the best clan in the world. And today I'm bringing you War Recap number 70. It's going to be the last war, so we're taking a look at the war log. And we faced a level 5 clan named Man Up. Uh, they fell short. Uh, we have one man down. Excuse me. Uh, so Bean Power got the win on this one. Won by 7 stars. Great job, Bean Power. Taking a look, we got Town Hall 10 2 starred. All but one of the Town Hall 9s 3 starred, and everything else was 3 starred, so great job there. We are going to take a look at Town Hall 9s 3 starring Town Hall 9s. We're taking a look at Town Hall 8s 3 starring Town Hall 8s. First attack we're going to look at is Red taking out their number 2. And a bit of a step up attack. Red didn't have his heroes here. So he's just putting hogs on this base, straight here, uh, excuse me, no heroes, so straight hogs, pretty ridiculous, but he steps up and he takes care of it. So taking a look at the attack, just on the bottom here, two loons is going to come in and grab that cannon. It's also going to grab this mortar and get the CC lure, which is nice because the only thing that's shooting at those loons is the arch tower there. So almost like a free trade plus a lure there. He did spring a bomb up on top here, it was a cleanup attack. And what's nice about this is he gets great use out of these witches that he drops down. It's going to distract with the dragon, it's going to trickle in towards the heroes, uh, things like that. But witches, if you use them during the CC kill, a lot of times they're going to stay up through the entirety of the attack, which is really good, helps clean up the side buildings, and uh, just an over overall great troop to bring for a CC kill. So a couple of wizards down with the witches to take care of that, and he drops these Valkyries. They're going to go right for the heroes, and a few extra hogs on that mortar is going to clear the path for his two-finger drop. Large drop of hogs coming on both archer towers, and if you can see, this base is rather compact, and he's just going to drop heals, covering everywhere he needs to do. Which is still working this cleanup. Couple more heal spells, keeping those hogs alive. Giant bomb, no big deal. Still got a Valkyrie up. Still got wizards. Still got a poison spell, and he's gonna drop that right here, take care of those. I suggest saving the poison spell for the skeletons, especially if you know they're gonna be ground skeletons or if it's an air attack and you're using balloons and there's air skeletons. If you know they're going to be there, save them for the poison the skeletons at the end. It's going to help you a lot more. It may make the difference between a 2-star and a 3-star. So if you see, without heroes, still got pork, skeletons, valkyries up. Just completely wreck the base. Way to step up red, take care of it. Remo. Next attack we're going to look at is Eric taking out their number four. And he's also bringing redheads. He's got 13 Valkyries. Got a baker's dozen of redheads. That's one for you and every one of your friends. So coming in with a golem here. That's going to do a lot of the tanking. He's backing it up with wizards. And the poison spell is going to help out, slow everything down. And once he's got a nice funnel in here, he's going to drop all of his Valkyries down. They're going to aggro on the Archer Queen. They're going to take care of her. They're going to be taking care of all of his buildings here. He's got a heal spell for it. And one thing here is uh, he's a bit late on the jump spell. But jump spells last quite a while. So if you want everything to go into the center of the base and your troops are already past that, get the jump spell down early. They will take that path. On a 10th. Turns out to be okay, all his Valkyries go to the right side of the base, and he's coming in on the left side with Hogs. Just a few per defense, they're all going to meet in the center of the base. Valkyries made their way around. He's got his Archer Queen still up. Plenty of Hogs up. Just a real nice hybrid attack.
The Valkyries are still sawing through walls. AQ just got blown up. Plenty of hogs left to clean up. And as soon as we get these last few buildings cleaned up, that is going to be GG. Way to go, bro. Next attack we're going to look at is Don Khan taking out their number five. And Don Khan, he brought a bunch of pork. He's going to try to come in here, get this lure, and also take out that cannon, possibly, but the Archer Queen is going to stop that from happening. He's going to bring the dragon up here. I usually suggest doing a BK swap for the Archer Queen, especially when she's exposed. He's going to take care of her with a poison and some wizards and his Archer Queen, and it turns out to be okay. There's the Archer Queen, wizards. Gonna phase the Archer Queen, that's going to take care of the dragon, no problem. Once he's got the CC and the AQ out of the way, he's coming in with a two finger drop on the bottom. Tons of pork. Uh, I may have preferred a three finger drop, just so you kind of have an even path. So you can kind of have a wave taking out the whole uh, base defenses. Gets a heal on the group of hogs to the left. One on the right. Once they start working their way through the base, he's going to get more heals. And back it up with the CC hogs on the left, which is good. And this is where you want to have that poison. Hogs run towards the last group of defenses. They do have a heal spell. You can see that archer tower there with a three finger drop on it. That four. All of these skeletons beating on your hogs while they're running around. Make sure you got an even wave. Get some BK down to do some cleanup. And that is all we got left. Plenty of pork left. Got the BK up. That is Don Khan, straight from the UK, bringing some hot dogs. All American food. Way to go, bro. Next attack we're going to look at is... One Fly Z taking out their number seven. And Z is also a fan of American food. He enjoys a good hot dog every once in a while. And particularly a fan of the Chicago dog. So if you don't know about the Chicago dog, it's kind of like something that's got tomatoes, little peppers on there, um, the bun, it's got the poppy seed on the bun. So it's not a real Chicago dog if it doesn't have a pickle on there. Um, once you get everything on there, it's almost like a salad with a hot dog in the center. But if you're in Chicago, I suggest you get one. And pork definitely is the way to go. Couple of barbs for distraction and wizards behind it are going to take care of that dragon, the CC. And then he's going to send the hogs from the top. And if you notice, he gets everything on the center pan in there. He's trying to do a three finger drop. Make sure you're on the exact right tile. you got to line everything up. If you want it to pass towards that defense, you got to make sure you have it lined up. You can see the tiles on the grid, on the war map here, they're there for a reason. Make sure you got everything lined up, use those tiles. A couple of heal spells, he's got a large group on the hogs to the left, he's going to send his CC hogs in on the right to support that area. BK down is on the right side as well. A little bit early on the heal spell, I might have saved it towards the back end here, but he does have plenty of pork. BK is tanking for that Tesla, that's what you want in the back half of the raid. One more Tesla on the left that popped up. And once that defense goes down, this is going to be GG. Okay. 
Oh, drop the poison on the BK. It killed him. You killed him. No, he's awake. His eyes are open. Hey, <laughs> okay. Alright, he's just sleeping. Town Hall's going down. CC's going down. DE's going down. This dude went down. Yeah. Next attack we're going to look at is SS taking out their number 8. And he brings a Goho. I like to see Goho at Town Hall 8. You don't usually see it with two Golems. He does bring two. But they are level 1, so they don't take much abuse before they blow up. And you want some good, excuse me, you want some good tanking on there. So he brought two Golems. Once he gets everything to the left here, he's just going to do a regular CC kill. Barb down, Wizards, another Barb, another Barb. That's perfect. That's exactly what you want to do. Great timing, great order, doesn't even lose any wizards. A couple of golems here on the left, he's going to come into this little pocket here. He's going to get his funnel down, try to get some wall breakers in there, they get slapped. But he does get his BK down, a couple more wizards, they're going to break through, take out the defending BK, start taking out some of these defenses. They're actually going to work their way into the core uh, to get into the, some of these open areas that you see, and that's the point of Goho. You want to get your golems and your kill squad into the open areas and then use your hogs for the outer half of the base and they're actually just going to loop their way around. Once they meet up on these defenses, he's got to heal for all of his hogs. Kill squad's making its way into the core, triggering bombs. He's got another heal spell for his hogs up top. And you guessed it, one more to the left side. Once these last couple cannons go down, he's got wizards for cleanup. He's got a BK. Got plenty of pork left. And this base got completely wrecked by Town Hall 8 Go. Still got a golemite left. Um, you can tell he got a lot of use out of his golems because there's just the uh, two little golemites left. So you want to make sure they bust. You want to make sure you get good use out of them, and that's how you use a golem. Hashtag 3 mall. Next attack we're going to look at is my alternate account taking out their number 9. And I want to scout this first. And the reason I want to scout it is because it's fairly obvious if you take a look at this here. It looks like open spot here, here, Tesla here, open spot, probably another Tesla there, open spot. Those are really only my threats that I see on this base. These little slits here, here, they're not going to hold any bombs, Teslas, no big deal, I'm not going to worry about it. So if you see these clusters of defense right here, I'm going to circle them. And you see these Teslas and these open bombs. Now there's no double giant bombs in these circles, just singles, you can tell. Um, what I basically just did for you is I drew my heels. They're covering the defenses, they're covering the open spots, and you could almost do like a pre-heal with this. Um, don't be afraid to use your heal spells early if they're covering the spots that you need to use them on. And if you look in the center, mortars, air defenses, they are not going to do anything. A sweeper, they're not going to even touch the hogs. So the mortars aren't fast enough. When the hogs get close to it, they can't hit the hogs. The air defenses definitely ain't going to shoot the hogs. And the sweepers, going to give them a blow dry and blow dry their hair. I don't know. But uh, what I chose to do is send the hogs down and then quickly after get the heal down. And that way your hogs are spending more time in the heal. But you can pre-heal it if you like. Got backed out here, let's get back in. Alright. So let's take a look how I did that. Something else that's uh, very effective is using CC witches for the CC kill, especially the dragon. They're gonna walk right underneath the dragon, they're gonna distract it, and if you notice, I got my witches down early. 
and just there they are spawning their second set of skeletons. It takes them a while to get their full number of skeletons out. So my BK is down there, he's going to aggro on his BK, so I'm doing a king swap. I'm distracting the dragon, a couple of wizards are going to do the whole job. And those witches most likely are going to stay up with the barbarian king tanking, so that's an effective kill squad right there, that's what you want to do. Now I get the hogs down before two finger drop, and then also another two finger drop for the sides, get everything working in, then I get the heal spells down. And sure enough, there's bombs, Teslas, everything right there, but by the time they get that area taken out, there's nothing left of the base. I did send three single hogs, one per each defense on this wizard tower, archer tower, and this cannon there, and they are single-handedly going to take out each of those defenses while they're distracted. So those hogs come in from the bottom and they take out all three defenses. That's a one-for-one -one trade on all of those. So if you're thinking about the back half of your attack, how do I take care of the back half of defenses, don't be afraid to save a few hogs, save a few balloons to drop them on the back half of the attack when the rest of the defenses are distracted on the main attack. Very effective. Got a heal spell right on the skeletons, right when they bunched up at the end of the attack, so that's what you want to do with the skeleton. Once these last go down, that is going to be three mo. Last attack we're going to look at is Zebro, one fly Z, taking out their number ten. Now coming in here with the giant, good idea there. Got plenty of hit points. They're going to get everything lured out and bunched up, where he's going to use the poison spell and take care of all those wizards, no problem. Once that's out of the way, he sends one hog all the way in here, triggers a spring trap, gets a giant bomb. Good looking on that. Always look for the defenses, the pathing, things like that. And if you can exploit a base by getting them all the way into the center like that, go ahead and do it. He tripped a giant bomb and a spring trap and got a skelly trap, so that's good. A few hogs on the left are going to take care of that lone cannon, and that is going to stop him from getting a nice even spread. So once that's down, he gets his Asian wall of hogs down. They're all traveling towards the defenses, and the defenses are going to go down at the same time. That means they're all going to travel towards the next defense, like you see, just an even wave. Very easy to plan the heals. A couple of heals per side, covering the empty spots. Uh, the back end CC hogs is also very nice. They're coming in behind and that cannon wasn't even shooting at them. So, covers his butt there with the last heal. Once that last defense goes down, this is just clean up. And he's got plenty of wizards going to just surround the base with clean up. And this should happen fairly quickly because I'm fast forward. All those cleanup troops are just going to blow through this base. Yeah! Way to go, Zebro. Congrats on co-leader. Alright, so that's going to wrap up the war attack. If you take a look at... Ooh. If you take a look at the results, 1 by 7 stars, that's great there. 8... 3 star attacks versus 3. You got a 3 star, you can't be stuck doing goal wipes, 3 stars change the the way the battle goes out. If you pull a big 3 star out on them, they can't hang. So just a couple of 3 star attacks on Town Hall 9s and things like that really can make the difference. Keep practicing, you guys will get it. Taking a look at the current war, we got matched up against a level 4 clan, uh, Chai, Sai, or Dai. Uh, I'll take the Chai Sai, you can take the die. We'll see how that goes. War just started. Back and out, let's take a look to see if we got... Oh, Bean's going crazy. Yeah, it's got some shouts. We got Swag, Red, Eric42, The Four Deuce, T-Money, Red's a Boss, Chief Tate. Yeah. Big shout out to Bean Power. Taking a look at the clan. Clan's closed up. Got 22 members. Still got plenty of room. 
If you're bringing three-star attacks, if you're interested in learning how to bring three-star attacks, feel free to send us an invite. If you're stuck doing go wipes and you don't want to learn how to do it the right way and you're happy with two stars, you can find a different clan. So be on the lookout for more Bad Beans Clash videos, be on the lookout for more war videos, definitely be on the lookout for that. And until next time, this is Big Flick from Bad Beans Clash. We'll see you soon.